goddamn piece of shit. Open up already. What's up, guys? Welcome to Blue Room Gaming. This is the Division 2 impressions video. I did not have enough time to run through a full review yet. I will absolutely be doing that. But I want to get to actually level 30 and beat the story. I'm only up to level 10. I've been playing the shit out of this game. Will this be the one that's going to pull you away? Is this going to pull me away from Destiny? I've been playing a shitload of Destiny. Is this finally the looter shooter that's going to do it? Let's find out. So, let's go right into it with the controls. Fucking so good. Oh man, playing on mouse and keyboard and it feels so solid. Not going to comment on the controller because I didn't need it, which is great. I prefer mouse and keyboard. And when I have to plug in a controller for a game, not a, the best feeling. Like a game like Devil May Cry, completely different. Obviously, you're going to use a controller for that. This type of game, though, 100% prefer mouse and keyboard, and it feels so fucking good. Everything feels exactly as it should. And there is a ton of quality of life things that Ubisoft put into this, which is amazing, such as auto run and auto vault. So there's a lot of traveling in this game, especially in the early uh, parts where you don't have all of the safe houses unlocked. So to get from A to B, you just got to hoof it. You just got to fucking use your feet. You can just hit X. And you just fucking hold walk, or if you hit shift, hold run. It's great. You can also set it to auto vault over things, so you don't have to press control to jump over them. Fucking great. When you have a long way to go, you just fucking do it, and you just control it with the mouse. Super nice. Really, really enjoy that. You can also really fine tune it. You don't have to auto vault over everything. You can only auto vault if you're auto running. So you can just really just like the amount of detail with it and the amount of quality of life things that they added is really pretty substantial and pretty great. Very much appreciated there. And the gunplay with the controls, every gun feels exactly how it should. Um, I, I didn't feel any guns that I was like, oh, this feels like shit. There are some guns where it's like you're shooting and the shit's just going everywhere and you're not hitting anyone, but I think it's just because you don't have the mods unlocked yet. It doesn't feel like it's unfair. It feels very realistic and I like it a lot. Controls on this game, super tight, super good, very night and day coming from a game like Anthem. And even Destiny. Destiny is very fast paced. This is a lot slower. A lot more realistic, I, I guess, is the best word for it. So, But I'll definitely get more into the gameplay of it in a little bit here. So let's jump into the next thing. The sound and the music of the game. Next great thing. Sound is fucking really good. Every gun feels amazing and sounds so realistic. Like, when you've got one of those big fucking just light machine guns with 100 bullet rounds, and it's just fucking like da 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 it sounds so fucking good. Even when you have the single fire, it's it's amazing. Uh, the single fire guns just sound so good. Every gun sounds really good. Um, the music's fine. It fits the game well. The sound effects, though, like I was in a storm within the game. And there, the thunderstorm, the thunder, the cracks of lightning and just thunder. Oh, it's. It, I was like, holy shit, this sounds real. I, I, like, I, I looked outside, I'm like, I don't, we're definitely not having a thunderstorm. I'm like, this sounds really fucking good. I'm very impressed with it. The, the sound, top-notch, very well done. Um, definitely recommend having a good set of headphones or blasting this on your speakers. It sounds really good. Um, so the next really good thing about this game, graphics. I feel like this game could run on an Apple Watch. Or maybe a calculator because that is just the level of like granularity that you can just get down to like you can fucking change every setting this game looks so good the amount of detail there's just so much shit going on uh, there's there's animals everywhere there's people everywhere there's cars there's trees there's the, all the different buildings everything looks different everything just looks it when you pass something you never see it again. I mean, yeah, like the underground shit kind of looks samey. Um, some of the buildings, but it's like coming from, uh, I know I keep shitting on Anthem. Uh, obviously, if you couldn't tell, I'm not a fan. Um, but Anthem felt super samey where it was like, there's the forest, there's the waterfall, there's the forest again, there's another waterfall, there's the fucking 15th forest. Everything felt the same. This is very different, very complex. It, it was just really nice to see the graphics on this game, just the optimization so good i mean there's just i was blown away you can literally just change every little fucking setting to make this thing run on the highest of high-end computers and the lowest of low and everything in between really job well done for ubisoft 
All right, so let's get into game plan. A couple other miscellaneous things here. Load times. Uh, wow. I mean, again, I, I keep shitting on Anthem. The reason I keep bringing up Anthem is just because uh, another giant studio, another giant company put out a looter shooter not even a month ago. Uh, I guess it was a month ago, whatever the fuck time it was. And it's just the, the night and day differences of this. I mean, Anthem load times were atrocious like you might as well have your switch in your hand as you're playing fucking anthem you could go play like six or seven rounds of fucking uh tetris 99 it's insane those load times were horrendous the division you load into it which doesn't take that long and you have the entire world you can go into missions you can go into the hub where you can unlock more shit you have anywhere you want to go there's no load screens and it's crazy and if you want to fast travel somewhere it's actually fast, and you don't have to wait that long for load times. It's like five seconds, and this is installed on the same solid-state drive that Anthem was installed on. They were like three minutes on Anthem. This, it's like less than 15 to 20 seconds to boot into the game to have everything. Quick travel times, insane, very well done. Uh, again, I, I believe that's all due to the optimization of this game. Uh, job well done to Ubisoft. Um, also, there's a ton of different modes. Uh, there's multiplayer modes, there's the dark zone, there's just a shitload of things going on within the map. You see a ton of different events, the map itself has a bunch of different shit that you can go to. The uh, navigation, the GPS, really good. I love a GPS that kind of just tells you exactly exactly where you want to go. Um, you can turn that shit off if you just want to explore, because there's a ton of reason to explore. Um, especially like when you're in within a mission, you can go within like different rooms of the areas that you're in or just up and down different alleyways and there's loot everywhere there's backpacks there's recycling cans there's crates there's gates that you have to shoot the lock off or you have to find keys there's fucking loot out the ass in this game and it's great and it gives you a reason like to really explore and, like i don't even think destiny does a good job at this and i love destiny but they do a shit job of making you want to explore. Like when I get into Destiny, I'm like, fuck it, hop on my scooter, get from A to B as quickly as possible, beat this mission, get the gear, get the fuck out. Division significantly different. The Division is like much slower paced. You pop into cover, you fire off some shots, and then when you clear out the like the room or the wave of enemies, you fucking explore. You go, you just fucking crawl every piece of it because there's loot everywhere, and it's great. It's really rewarding. And more quality of life things, the loot, you can compare it right there. So if you get a new gun or if you get a new set of gloves, you can compare the stats right there without having to go into the inventory and pulling up like six more clicks. Just saves you a lot of time. So if you have a set of gloves that are 580 and you pick up a new set that are 600, you can compare it right there and equip the better ones and then put the other ones right into the trash. And it's like, wow, it's so nice. Like just little things like this just add up to make it faster but more fun and just like a really great experience and it's just nice to have this like i hope destiny learns a, f a few things from this steals a couple things improves on it anthem could learn a lot of things from a lot of different games but again gonna stop shitting on it if you want to see me shitting or hear me shitting all over anthem go watch any of my other videos on that but i mean really job well done for ubisoft um just quality of life things like this fucking awesome the exploration within there really does make you want to explore every single piece of the game uh every single piece of the map the leveling up also i'm only level 10 and i've played this game pretty good amount of time like seven hours worth um, i have not been playing really with any friends yet they have not gotten the game playing this pretty much solo looking forward to playing with them when they get this installed and ready but um, the game is manageable it's a little bit difficult, actually, and like I feel like I am not leveling up as quickly as I thought I would. I thought I'd be at least level 15 or so by now, if not further. The game takes a while, but it feels good, because when you finally hit that new level, it feels good to get it. It's like, ooh, what, what did I unlock? What can I do now? Uh, it's just, it's nice, and there's no real rush to it. Like, I don't want to rush through this game, because I'm really enjoying it. Um, also, when you go back to like the player bases in the hub, there's more things. There's so much shit to do there. There's just so much going on. You can trade in supplies. You can break down supplies. You can donate supplies to build up the camps and the developments. And then you get more rewards and experience points. And there is a ton of shit to do in this game. And it all, very satisfying. Just really good. Like, really enjoying this game. It's 
so much fun to play so let's just get into the gameplay as well very slow very much duck and cover gameplay if you charge into somewhere you are going to get fucked like hard the game does not it's not forgiving at all and i like it a lot like if you run into somewhere and think you're just gonna go like balls to the wall guns blazing you're gonna get fucked up quickly and the enemies are smart sometimes they do dumb shit and the ai just kind of gets wonky but overall it's very smart they'll flank you they'll throw grenades at you they'll duck down and cover they'll fucking send three or four like seeker grenades at you or a drone at like it's pretty impressive how well done the AI is. The game's challenging. There's been a few times where I'm like, fuck, I gotta try this again because I just couldn't do it. And it makes you think of how you're gonna do it. Like, it, it's good. I, I'm fucking loving the gameplay of this. I'm loving this game. It's really good. I'm excited to beat it. And I'm excited to get into the end game, into the dark zone and all those other modes. But with all this being said, we do have to touch on the bad things. There are a few of those things there. Nothing game-breaking for me personally, but... If you were looking for this game for the story, this is not it. This story sucks. Um, I feel like there's a lot of whiplash here. Uh, what I mean by that is, at one point, it's very serious. And you have to go re retrieve someone's daughter because she was kidnapped. And the other second, it's like, fuck the division, they're pieces of shit. And then you're doing jumping jacks over their dead bodies, uh, like in front of a fire. And it's like, it's just kind of really bad. And the voice acting, as good as the sound and the guns like are and the environment sounds are the voiceovers are horrendous they're either passable or they're just straight up trash the clip in the beginning of the video is just an example of it i feel like it's kind of funny just because it's like what's going on here with these sounds like the voices are like it's the division kill them all those motherfuckers and then some of it's like we really got to get down there and the, the nitty gritty uh, balls to the walls we got to do this for america these motherfuckers aren't gonna take this from us and it's like what is happening with these voiceovers i don't really understand it i did a terrible job of it i'm a little tired i'm recording this at like 12 30 at night so i apologize that those examples were horrendous that i just did but the voice acting and the story in this game not good not playing it for that either it's just it's all about the gameplay and the loot and i think the game does a fantastic job there see this is rawlings we found something you're gonna want to see don't keep me in suspense rawlings Goddamn piece of shit! Open up already! Fuck! It's the tracking beacon! The division will be on to us! This is perfect! Sir! Bring it inside! They'll come for it soon enough! And when they do, we'll make them open the damn thing! One thing within the game, you will get a lot of question marks as you're going through the world. Just kind of like open world, like random uh, events. I feel like almost every single one that I've gotten has been a propaganda event where it's like, uh, a radio tower has been taken over or like a speaker has been taken over and the gangs within Washington are playing like all this shit to just try and corrupt people and convert them over to their side like the hyenas and that's the name of the bad guys and then it's like you have to just kind of go over and like destroy their propaganda and like re-put on what the division had on and I feel like I've gotten that like 15 times and it's like I, at this point I, I kind of just ignore the question marks if it's more propaganda ones because it's just basically like defend the propag uh, the radio tower or whatever you're defending for two waves of enemies. They're not bad, it's just you get experience points, you get some gear, but it's just like eh, kind of wish there was more variety there. Maybe there was more past level 10 uh, and more in the end game, but right now I'm not really seeing it. But I mean, that's really all I got for the bad. It's pretty fucking great, man. This game's awesome. I definitely think this is going to be my new looter shooter for sure. Love Destiny, but man, this one is just scratching all the itches I have. Really enjoying it. I apologize, this video's kind of all over the place. It is pretty fucking late that I'm doing this. Cannot wait to play more of this. Gonna be binging the shit out of it this weekend. We'll definitely have a full review up when I beat the game and have enough to do a full review. But that is it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with a friend. If you don't like it, comment down below, dislike, don't share it with a friend. Um, and that's pretty much it. So enjoy your weekend. Enjoy this game if you're playing it or any other games that you're playing. And until the next one, guys, see ya.